and thank you to all of those that are subscribed. 11,000, that's huge. Alright guys, so we're going to talk about the next modification uh, for the charger. And it's a mod that it seems like everybody in a Mopar does. But before I jump into that, I just want to give you guys an update. Number one, the channel has now surpassed 11,000 subscribers. And that's unbelievable. Thank you guys so much for all the continued support. For those every day, you know, hitting the subscribe button, hitting the like button, and uh, commenting and everything, I really do appreciate the heck out of it. Um, your support really means a ton to the channel. It just creates more motivation for me each day, each week, to generate more content. So, uh, thank you very much to all of those that have uh, supported the channel and continue supporting the channel. <clears throat> the next thing is. I purchased my ticket to Mod to Fame Fest, and I will be racing the RT uh, down the quarter mile strip, and that's going to be fun. You know, I said this summer that I wanted to take the car to the track, and I think this is a really good opportunity. Um, I might make a complete banana head of myself. Uh, I've never done this before. I'm a complete rookie. We don't have drag strips around me, so. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how it all plays out and everything. Uh, I will be going on street tires. I'm not going to get like, you know, I'm not going to get the nittos or anything. I, I want to go with this current setup that I have here and see, you know, how, how this thing does uh, in comparison to, you know, a stock RT. So uh, we're going to see what, what this current setup has to offer. Um, and so that's that. I went out and purchased a, um, a track helmet. It's a Snell something. Uh, I, I'll put the brand up, you know, in a screenshot. And guys, let me know what you think of this. Uh, I'm kind of, you know, I, I went with one of the more expensive ones because I'm like, you know what? I don't want to get there and them say, hey, this cheap pile of crap that's on your head is not, uh, is not okay. So uh, I went with one that, you know, I kind of figure would be worth it so all right now the modification <clears throat> sorry the modification that I just ordered I hit the purchase now button over the weekend it is a modification that anyone in a charger challenger any kind of Mopar does the taser by Z automotive I am now jumping on board with the taser and the reason why it took me so long to buy this thing is because I had performance pages. And that was really the reason why I wanted uh, the taser or would have wanted the taser right out of the box. If I couldn't monitor my zero to 60 times, my uh, horsepower, torque, that kind of stuff, I would probably have gotten the taser right away. But there are other really cool features to the taser. And one of them happens to be the, um, track mode and I'm really interested to see does the track mode affect the RT at all um, will it affect my times does it affect the shifting um, all that kind of good stuff we're gonna see if it affects the RT in, in any way um, it also has the light show that I'm um, it's kind of cool uh, you, you know when you go to meets and such you put the light show on and uh, draws a little bit of attention there um, also the line lock, but I'm going to go ease. I'm going to ease up on those burnouts. Um, I don't know. I feel like I, I, I have so many burnouts under my belt and it's like, all right, you know, like they're cool and all, but you know, I don't have to do them every time, every day and every meet and, and everything like that. But if I choose to have a burnout or do a burnout, I have line lock, uh, with the taser now. So that's really cool. Um, there's a couple other little, you know, cool settings and, and things that the, the taser kind of unlocks. I believe you can mess with your, your screen, your splash screen display and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to buy this thing and we're going to, we're going to play around with it and, you know, just basically see 
what it has to offer, is it worth the, <clears throat> I, I basically paid 280 bucks for this thing after taxes and shipping and, and everything. So we're gonna see if it's worth $280. And I'll tell you what, I really think, and this is just my opinion before I have it, I really think that if nothing comes of the track mode, um, I will be probably disappointed. Uh, if, if, if it doesn't help in any way, when I put it in track mode, I think I'll be, you know, kind of disappointed. But, you know, I won't that, I won't let that affect um, what I think of the other pieces to the taser. You know, I'll try and give it uh, as fair of a re review as possible. And then once I go through all the features, I'll talk about whether it's worth the two hundred and eighty dollars uh, for you to basically. Um, you know, purchase it and get it delivered and everything. So, all right, that's pretty much what I have to say. Uh, a lot of cool things coming up uh, in the next week or so. I will be going to Cecil County, likely on Saturday uh, with Laura and uh, probably meeting up with a bunch of other YouTubers and, you know, hanging out, BSing, and we'll see how it, how it plays out. So uh, this is going to be fun. It's going to be a, uh, a lot of a lot of entertaining content is coming uh, starting next week, you know? So, there it is. And thank you to all of those that are subscribed. 11,000. That's huge. Big time Slimmy Jim.